Good evening you good people and welcome back to my channel. Tonight I am out on the um, Phaser 600. Uh, I've had this bike for um, just three years now and um, it's done just um, 17,000 kilometers just over which is just maybe 12 or 13,000 miles I thought I'd give you my impressions about the bike and, um, and still, uh, just still discuss why it's such a good bike today uh, this bike is from 2000 it's still in uh, mint condition I guess for the year so it's 22 years old now which is incredible. Uh, like I said, it's a 600 um, Phaser. They came out 1999. This is a 2000, and uh, the bike standard has uh, 95 horsepower. Uh, this has um, both a K&M filter fitted and a Micron um, exhaust pipe or muffler at the back. So I, I guess that maybe the power is just a bit more, maybe a hundred. Uh, it's a great bike. Sounds pretty good too. Um, it's really one of those classic bikes you should always try, uh, or at least try once in your life. Um, it's got um, the same engine as the R6 that was released, also 99. But um, because they played around with the engine a bit, it's got a lot more uh, mid-range power. So it's a very flexible engine. It's a uh, comfortable bike. It's got a, a really um, a quite a neat fairing. So it protects your upper body okay. Uh, the, the tank holds about um, 20 litres, I think. And, um, and even though it's a, a fast, quick bike, it's still an economical bike. Um, 55, to, 55 miles to the gallon is quite easy if you ride sensibly or so I usually get about um, at least 350 onto the tank full before I have to go onto reserve the, uh, the handling of the bike is uh, I think pretty good I've got quite new tyres on this bike here. So I'm quite happy with the handling with its ears tyres. Um, I can look at the tyres later on. But, uh, but I just wanted to show you around here and um, talk about a bike a bit more and uh, just to say why I think you should have this bike. Like I say, it's a reliable machine. It's um, it's fast, uh, very flexible engine, lots of mid-range, uh, really quick. Uh, I think they have a top speed of around um, 140 miles per hour they were tested, which is very quick for a 600 back then, over 20 years ago. And um, I can't really think of any negative things to say about the bike. Uh, they really seem to hold their prices. Uh, we roll this Mark One version in red that I have, red and silver. Is uh, I've looked at once in this condition, and then again the in the UK, they're going for around two and a half thousand pound now, and uh, they're not going to get cheaper, I don't think. 
Um, I was looking at the um, history of the bikes, how many has been sold, and uh, as I said, this one came out in 1999, and they stopped selling this one 2002, maybe 2003, and during that time they had um, 80,000 units that were sold, so it was a really popular, popular 600 back then. And then 2003 um, came the F FSZ, a 600, and there they changed the engine a bit and um, it was a lot more worthier. It didn't have the same mid-range uh, grunt as this bike had. The brakes are pretty good. They've got the blue dot, uh, the blue dot calipers on these bikes. On these bikes, uh, they were the same brakes as fitted to the phaser uh, thousand, uh, one thousand phaser two. The same brakes. Uh, but uh, it's a dream bike to ride. I think the gearbox is great. It's very positive gearbox. Um, this is it's still a low mileage bike, but uh, the gearing is fantastic. Uh, really nice clutch action, uh, and their gears are really nicely spaced. It's a six speed gearbox. It's also a really comfortable seat and um, here we go. Comfortable seat and um, a really good um, sitting riding position. Um, you've got um, a clock, which is great. You've got knee clocks, a hair rev counter, a fuel gauge, that's all you need. Uh, the, um, the corporation on this bike is really perfect. It's uh, really set up well and, uh, and uh, it's an easy bike to work on. Um, You've got to check the valves every 24,000 miles, so that's not bad at all and it's a job that everyone can do if you've got a few tools at home, there's no uh, horrible fairings to remove. So it's an easy engine to work on and get to. I haven't done a thousand this one yet, but I will do next winter. Um, it's a water cooled bike, so you obviously have to change the, uh, the coolant. Uh, the oil and the oil filter is easy to get to, and uh, but as I say, it, you've got to uh, get one of these bikes and at least try one uh, and see if they're going to be a classic one day. And uh, I think mean, already they are a classic. But uh, now I'm in the sixth gear now, and uh, it's the time doing 5,000 revs. And if we just open the bike up, and it goes, it goes, it goes, it goes. 
it's, it really is a wonderful engine to uh, a lot very, very flexible and usable power there and uh, it's a practical bike yeah, so if you look at the, um, the problems regarding these bikes um, there aren't any the, uh, the only issue that was around when this bike was released was the uh, nut holding the engine sprocket on uh, which was um, a bit under dimension so they had to do a, a re to recall on that nut and uh, change it out for a slightly bigger engine sprocket nut which I've done on this already but uh, apart from that these bikes and the engines are rock solid they last well and uh, the, the um, the finishing on them is okay. It's pretty good for a 20 by 20 year old bike. It's a lot of a lot of uh, smalls, a lot of fun for your money. I mean, what can you get for uh, 2,000 pounds a day if you buy uh, another sort of bike? When it comes to new bikes, uh, that offer this kind of uh, fun. So yeah, so all I can say is I can recommend this bike and um, if you've got any questions you can please uh, write them down I can answer them for you. Or if you, maybe you've got out of Phaser 600 the same year, if you've still got your bike you can keep it. There's uh, quite a few people out there who've kept on to them and I'm going to keep on with this is a keeper for me. Some bikes you have, you just have to keep because you know they're not going to be made again. Yeah, so I hope you enjoy this video and uh, please uh, give me a thumbs up and a, and a like. It's very important for the channel. And I'd like to thank my subscribers for keeping an eye out and uh, please, please uh, spread this message. Okay, people. Have a good night and uh, ride safe and I'll see you again the next time. Bye bye for now.